Hi everyone, Release Fire here, so it's time to get spooky and make a boo circle here in Super Mario Maker 2. So it's really easy to place a boo in, but it's not so obvious how to turn it into a boo circle. So I'm going to walk you through that now, hopefully it's going to help you out, and if it does, drop us a like below. As ever, it's massively appreciated, but the first thing you should be aware of is that there isn't a boo circle available on the Mario 3D World game style. It's only in the top four core game styles that you can actually do a boo circle. So if you want to do a boo circle, make sure you've got those themes, any one of those themes in action. And as soon as you do, like I've got new Super Mario Bros. U in, now I can put in a boo circle. And what you need to do to start that is head on up to uh, to the magnifying glass with Y and, uh, and then you want to move on across using R to find the enemy section and the enemy that you're looking for is obviously Boo. So drop a Boo in but at this stage you're like well that's not a Boo circle but if you click on it and, uh, and then move across in the menu you'll get to this one if you select that then it will transform into a boo circle. However, dropping in a boo circle willy-nilly here and there doesn't really make for a great level. What you want to do is drop them in and construct the level so that it actually makes a little bit of sense for them to be in the game. So I'm going to show you kind of how I did that with this particular section. And essentially the idea is that you want to be able to drop them in in a way that Mario has got to jump through the little gaps in the circles in some way, shape or form to be able to make it through that section of the level. So I'm dropping in a few platforms here to allow him to jump into the middle and then I'm going to give him a reason for jumping in the middle by putting in a question mark block and throwing in a star into it. And the reason I'm putting a star in there is because a star will allow Mario to beat all the boos. In fact, it's the only way that Mario can beat Boo. So if you want to throw in a star and make it relevant to your level, it's a good way to pitch it. So you can see if I jump on in and then if I make sure I get the timing just right, I can pick up the star, get my jump right next. And then I've suddenly got invincibility and I can take out all of the boos. And that's something to bear in mind when you're creating your levels with boo circles in there in that you want to construct a level that actually uses boo circles in a way that makes sense. So you can see if you change to different styles you'll still have the boo circles so you can see there that's Super Mario Brothers and then if you change it over to Super Mario Bros 3 then the same boo circle is in place and lastly it is the same for Mario World. So there we go, that is a quick run through of how to make a boo circle in Super Mario Maker 2 and what styles it works for and some of the things to take into account as you're creating your levels. Hopefully it helps you out and like I said earlier, if it does, drop us a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel with the links on the left hand side and hit that bell button if you want to get notifications for more of our videos as they come out. You can see the rest of our videos for Super Mario Maker 2 with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments below and I will catch you next time.